Number five, suppose a speck of dust in an electrostatic precipitator has one times 10 to the 12 protons in it and has a net charge of negative five nanocoulombs. How many electrons does it have? All right, so when anything has a net charge, so in this case, it's gonna be negative 5.00 nanocoulombs. Whenever something has a net charge, this net charge tells us the charge in excess okay, of either electrons or protons. It tells us the charge, so I'll say this excess, excess number, this, it's not really the excess number, but excess charge of the electrons, right? You know that if this thing were neutral, the protons would equal the electrons, right? So what that, so basically I know since it's not neutral, that the number of electrons better exceed the number of protons, okay? So what I can do here is I can calculate the number of electrons that are necessary to give this negative five nanocoulomb charge. Let's do that. So negative 5.00 nanocoulombs, we have to do the conversion for every, uh, well, first we need this in coulomb, all right? So there's uh, 10 to the nine, 10 to the nine nanocoulombs for every one coulomb. And then I can do my conversion that there, every one electron is or has a Coulomb value of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulombs of charge. So we can plug in the little negative sign. This whole thing will come out to be positive, which is good because that's telling us the number of electrons. So there's going to be 5 divided by 10 raised to the ninth times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. And we get a value about 3.125. So here we go, 3.125. Uh, 25 times 10 to the 10 electrons. So this tells me the number of excess electrons. Remember, right? That's what we said over here, basically. So this tells us the number of excess electrons. It doesn't tell us the number of electrons in total. It tells us the number of excess electrons. So now, if... The, if this thing had 1 times 10 to the uh, 12 protons, right? So we have 1, I'm not going to write out all the zeros, 1 times 10 to the 12th protons, okay? And we know at a minimum then that the since, the since there is a net negative charge, that at a minimum there had to have been also 1 times 10 to the 12th electrons because when you take these two together, they basically cancel each other out in terms of charge, right? This would be neutral overall, okay? And then on top of this, right, on top of this number of electron value, we had uh, this number of excess electrons over the neutral state, right? So how do we find now the total number of electrons? Well, we take this value and this value, and we're just going to simply add them together, all right? So take that value and add then plus one times 10 to the 12th, and there we go, right? So it's gonna be 1.03 times 10 to the 12th electrons. That would represent now the total number of electrons. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that made sense. Please remember to subscribe. That also makes sense, and we'll see you soon. Take care.